just yet. Oh, is this the, is this the you know what? Yeah, this right here is actually the money match. Hopefully the mics are working. Um, here, we go. here we have Fox as HHIGRU and Oasis as Link. Red Link specifically today, but this is going to be our money match for the day. This is, um, we actually have two coming up. This is our first of two. They're both best of fives. And each of these players are betting $25. Plus, that's all minus side bets, of course, that are going on. You're for real? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. That, that changed a lot about this. So here we have Aru starting off really strong, uh, being able to use, abuse that burst option, use and abuse it to get up under Oasis. Although I haven't seen too many up air strings yet, we still might be getting just to that. So Oasis here, Nair into jab, jab, jab. Of course, now his arrow has been stumped up by Reflector, so will he try that trick again? Is it ingrained into his muscle memory, or does he know? This is truly a battle. All righty. Oh, oh Oasis getting the that. forward tilt, taking the very first stock of the game. Aru with the mind games already, though. I haven't. I don't think Oasis is going to be relying too much on projectiles this match around. But he's clearly able to force him into this corner there and get that F tilt on the roll read for a stock, which is really nice. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Ooh. forward Another smash. Another carry, though. which he's been getting quite a few of. I haven't really seen too much of this box either, so this is pretty interesting. Yeah, this one's all new for us. Oh my god, <laughs> carry to F smash into a crouch wall. True combo. Alrighty. So what we see a lot of right here is Oasis trying to set up a bit of pressure, but not really understanding how to get directly under him. So a nice spot dodge there, saving him, but of course getting eaten by the forward air right afterwards and sent off to the side of the stage. Barely catching off. Okay, Aru converting one Nair into a light combo of his own. Oh, I get it. Because, <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't too much. It was kind of light, but then yeah. also light as in light. Oh, okay. Okay, Alrighty. Safe, safe F smash there. Just hit him with a nair of his own right there. Oh, unfortunately taken off, uh, taken aback by Link's up B. He's just kind of... <laughs> Trying to play around his shine there. Yeah, of, you know, most of what it is, I, I mean, I see, I see him shine, and uh, we saw Oasis earlier try and bomb drop like next to the shine, and then back up and shoot the arrow when he could have walked up and grabbed. You know, yeah. the, the the mind games are definitely there. I'm I'm not sure if Oasis is intentionally doing this or if this is just he doesn't understand how to get around it right now, which we might see that develop throughout the match. Nice <laughs> bomb play. Yeah. So here. What, what we see here is a lot of um, item play coming from Aru with. Oasis' his own bomb, so a Oasis kept trying to challenge his <laughs> up throw and bomb with down air, but it was not coming out fast enough. Same issue again if I'm just holding shine and uh, with firing a projectile at it. So, yeah, absolutely. Fortunately, afterwards, immediately afterwards, getting a stock and then Aura firing right back with the crouch walk for extra points. Alrighty, so what do we see in this matchup specifically right here? Link versus Fox. Fox has a lot of burst options that can get up under Link's skin very, very easily, so he can stay under him. And Fox wins this matchup when Link is under, is above him. Link, on the other hand, would like to be able to wall out this sort of matchup. Um, anything to keep Fox from doing his burst options. So the best way to play this would be option denial. Okay. But what I see a lot of well, option denial or even bait and punish, but it is hard to bait and punish oh. a character. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Up B. Almost taking Fox's life there, but he can make it back up onto the ledge. Perfect. Oh, the forward tilt Perfect catching time. the startup of side B. 1 0. 1 0 right now. <laughs> Giant zero. Yeah. Wait, click cancel. How do you change that? Oh, it's a, it's a text file. I was getting it from. Oh, there it is. Type in their names. Okay. All right, player one. Ah, HHIG. HHIG Aru. What is AHHIG? Awesome. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh, ASIC? <laughs> I love these custom names here. Five person. And it is. No. Oh, no, no. Other way around. Save. That should work. Nice. Nice, okay, here we clean. go. So we have our money match, the first game going to Oasis, and Aru quickly counterpicking to Joker here. How is this matchup going to go on? <laughs> yeah, one time we went to one of the tournaments at UTSA dressed as Joker, fully intent on 
styling on someone, and then they didn't show up. Oh, no. Because it was the person who won the previous tournament, so he, he got all this outfit ready, and he was playing Joker the whole time, and the dude didn't show up. So well, that was unfortunate, but we still got a picture of it, of his outfit, and it was very, it was very clean. It was like yeah, a, and if there's one thing you guys don't know about Aru, he, he's, he's goddamn stylish. Mm -hmm. he, he is a beautiful man. Yeah. Alrighty, so here we are with Oasis versus Aru. We have Oasis immediately hitting Rebel's Guard and taking the damage for it, and Arson is out on the field right now. So a lot of ledge pressure coming off of Arson and finally getting hit out of the, the gun's not doing too much there, but he did definitely pressure him into recovering as swiftly as possible. Alrighty, let's go Arson. Doing so clean at this. Yeah, and like I said, th this matchup is quite a bit different from the Fox oh. matchup, as they're both fast characters, but in this matchup, it's not necessarily about the burst options as much as yeah, it is about the lead to Aru's previous Fox. Now, mind you, this is this is $25 on the line for this money match. $20 on the line for this money match. And Aru has us these twice, but... We'll it's okay, no, it that, that's part of the mind game, you see, is that he does this thinking, you know, it, it sort of builds the, the, the illusion of incompetence as a player, and now he's gonna pull out some yeah. really spicy stuff. Oh, yeah. Rebel's Guard coming out once again. Oasis finding it hard to play around. He hasn't just grabbed yet. There he is. The man. The man. The arson. Alrighty. Oasis pulling out Bomb to be able to pressure on ledge, but not quite getting the chance to. His arson popped out just on time to be able to assist Oru in his endeavor. Oh, oh forward smash right there off the right side. And that was at kill percent when the man was at 50. <laughs> Alrighty, so Aru takes a game versus Oasis. Reminder, this is a best of five. Okay, I like that. Aru. I'm ready to see some more spicy crouch walking out from our competitors here. Yeah, Oasis that, that, that is adds up one. Depth. Adds another layer of depth onto this. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Connor. Hey, how's it going? What better way to honor the man, David Hayter? So we'll see how this item play comes out. Much more projectile based than any of his previous characters. <laughs> and we're just seeing a lot of explosions. Yeah. No, I've never seen the Aru Snake either, so let's see what goes on here. Especially on Lilat of all places. Sits in shield, trades with Link, and of course in this matchup we're going to see a lot of trading because even the bomb Link's bomb explodes when under the contact of fire, um, fire-related entities and stuff of the sort. So, okay. it's we're going to be seeing a, a lot of self-damage with Link's bomb here. Aru going off the ledge a little bit too far there, but that's okay. He has the potential to bring it back as we continue on with this game. But as I was talking about earlier, fire properties able to set off Link's bomb here in this one. We're going to be seeing a lot of self-damage from Link coming up. So another another SD from Aru. Um, so we're hoping. Maybe he's, uh, you know, not, not too worried about it's just a, it's, it's, stock. It's probably just a bit of rust. We got it. Okay, now we see Hero Spin oh, yeah. there, nullifying the hitbox on the bomb for a total, I believe it's either 30 or 60 frames is uh, the total nullification time for a hit Nikita. So we see, uh, we're going to see probably a lot of that with Hero Spin because Hero Spin does negate that Nikita quite a lot unless hit from directly above or directly below. Down throw. Doesn't down throw, but it doesn't get it because Oasis used to get up attack. But of course, baiting him that. right into. Yeah, I saw him put it down and I saw him leave it there. Baiting him right into the oh. down B there. Alrighty, so C4 hasn't been set up just yet again on the field, but what we do see, this is yeah. the money match. 20, 20 right now. So what we do see here is a lot of, uh, not a lot of item play, not as much as I would have assumed. It seems like they both sort of dropped the, the, the idea of items just for now. Uh, of course, we do see a lot of grenades to cover options right now and to trade with, but Oasis is being very, um, very conservative with his bomb use. Yeah, punishing a lot of his landing as well. There we go, Nick killing off the side. I believe that was, I believe that was bad DI. Okay, so right. what were the punish here? Link does not have a kill throw until about 180, 195. So we'll see here what, uh, what Oasis is going for in these okay. throws. It's probably going to be ledge guarding punishes. One thing to... Oh! Ooh, ouch, off the side there with the forward smash call, but that's okay because Oasis is now sitting at 51% and there is C4 out on the field, detonated 84%. Perfect. Perfect. 96. Heat of time, okay. Nice, I'm getting past that. Okay, just barely getting past the C4 there, but it looks like Oasis is very much at kill percent. Any one of these is going to kill him now. 
Drop oh, there we go. Right and right just before land. the bomb was able to come down as well. So here we see oh, Aru 2 move. versus Oasis 1. Aru winning. Alrighty. But so who? thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for anyone here who's tuning in today. We are in our first money match of the night. HHIG Aru versus Oasis. Link versus a plethora of characters. So we will see how this one goes down. This money match is for a total grand sum of $20, and I believe there's an extra $25 on the line in side bets. Right. Or 25 to $50 in side bets for this mm. match alone going on right now. So here we see the Aru special, the Cloud. This was, yeah, we had a Robin, Cloud, and Bayonetta trio in Smash 4, and those were his primary characters. So let's see if how his Cloud has progressed since then, mm. especially versus Link, a character very heavy bound on projectiles. Right. Sword. So sword. here, yeah. So here we see nullification between the boomerang and the cro or the um, the beam blade there. Okay. Already back here to back I'm here, walling him out. Right now. Yeah, a little bit of trouble getting back to the stage, getting in. But of course, we see Uppy on stage, one of his more like amazing tools to be able to be used in the neutral, right into cross slash. Oh. And once again, Uppy on stage, and here we have limit. This is a scary situation for Oasis. That was perfect timing to get that Uppy. Oh. oh no, not quite. Tries used. to get people to come to finishing touch, but unfortunately, we'll be having a 10 entrance as he missed the finishing touch again. Yeah, that, that's and okay though. We're coming back around to it. So here we see back throw for positional throw, and what is he going to get off of it? Not a whole lot of anything. He didn't set up a bomb oh. there. But oh, up till barely catching Aura before his option came out. And of course, uh, I believe the up be there sort of keeping him from getting hit by the bomb because it definitely looked like he was within bomb hitbox. <laughs> All right, just limit beam blade the just down. passing up Oasis barely, but at this point, either one of them could throw out a kill move. Got it. Uses it against him. Nice! <laughs> Uses it for the ball. item stun to dash attack into Oasis. Oasis needs to be much more careful about where he leaves the bomb from now on because he knows they can be used against him now. Aro has been excellently using that bomb in, in many different matchups <laughs> against Link. Alrighty. So Limit, of course, making Cloud a little bit floatier. Uh, he, he just died there. Um, just a bit though, it makes him a little bit lighter, a little bit floatier, a little bit faster. But I do not think that's the primary reason. I just think it's because he ate an up smash. <laughs> now Oasis sitting at a very uncomfortable 90%, both of them on stock number two. Or with practically no damage and tacking on more as we speak. Oh, right into the forward air fall down. He knows he can whiff punish those up tilts. They're so the bomb slow. Again. Bomb, he has one bomb once again with bomb. limit. Oh, right into finishing touch. But of course, Oasis not really a heavy punish there being off stage. Oh, um, Not being able to punish. Cloud off stage, better said. Maybe down smash is the wrong way. Because down smash, you get a punish off yeah. of that parry. But so still let's, gotten into a really good position. Yeah, let's see what it does off of it right now, though. Using that limit beam blade to, of course, try and two frame or any anything, any sort of gimp off stage because Link does oh. not have the most stellar recovery. Oasis Bomber coming back to the stage <laughs> and fast falling into Hero Spin. And, of course, barely shielding that limit uh, beam blade right there. Perfect back timing. throw, not a heavy punish, but what can we see off of it? Not a whole lot of anything. He gave up too much stage control when he had the advantage. Oh. Yeah. Well, just out of his range to get an F smash. Yeah, just across barely. the entire stage and, and still kills. Oh, Using the bomb no. against him again. Okay. <laughs> Putting him in a really bad position. Just sparing on him like that. Oh, doesn't come back down, which he may not have been expecting. Yeah, and forward, tilt the wrong way. forward tilt in the wrong direction needs a forward tilt of zone. And now they're off the side, and this is pretty much just an even game at this point. Cloud versus my boy Link. Okay. My boy Aru get, versus my other boy Link. Continue along with the stock. Because he seems to, he has a lot of uh, ability to Ooh, juggle him in the air. But yeah, he has gotten him <laughs> another upbeat out of seemingly. I, I don't know if it's it's more because he's respecting Oasis' decision to come down with. Uh, down air a lot uh -huh. because Oasis is landing with down air a lot. Oh, parrying the very first one, knowing Oasis wouldn't immediately shoot out the second one. Um, of course, I think that was more of a mistake on Oasis' part. As soon as you see it, you usually want to go for it. You don't want to slow it down too much, otherwise people can even jab out of it or jump out of it. You know, just like that. Again. Like it's it's good damage, it really is, but it's not going to get you the kill. It is not a kill move unless it is tippered, and even then, it only kills at certain positions. Oh, thrown far off stage there by. If you the lack of that boomerang in the <laughs> Yeah. Up right, or up there is right before he gets to get the down arrow, which would have been right, a really so bad move. Both the kill percent. Who is going to throw out the first kill move? And will he connect? Oh, the forward right air still going right all the, the way up the ledge. HHIG Aru taking Kings money match number one, 3-1 versus Oasis. The really clutch.
Yeah, uh, Flat Tire at the very, very end. The, the, the amazing, what was it, forward air. He just kind of threw it out mm -hmm. and hoped for the best. And it did give him the best. It gave him the best case scenario. Uh, Oasis ended up dying for it, and that was that. Oasis has just paid the money, slapped it down onto the table.